Oh, got it. Wah, Man. wah, wah. This is whack. <laughs> Street Fighter. Nah, this is good, though. This is good. That way, at yeah. least we know it was Filipino Man. He deserved was to lose. It? He I deserved mean, to lose. I, you're right. Oh, yeah, we got, got everyone else in there, yeah. Are they? Can they see each other? Are they good and everything? I thought we saw a Filipino Man and this Kami guy in the lobby before. The tournament started today. I don't think so. I think Kami played earlier against Remember the, the, the match we thought was like gonna happen and then they got out of the lobby? Oh, you're right. Filipino man was in the lobby. He earlier. was in the lobby earlier. Do they see each other? Are they good? Everything's cool? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> Technology right here, man. Technology, man. Oh, when wow. it comes down to the good old fashioned coin flips, that's when I'm interested. Yeah, dude. That's how real men decide Street Fighter matches. Street Fighter Online Series Episode 1. Yeah. Winner goes to Capcom Cup. This is top 16 action. We're almost to our top eight. Is this the last match before top eight? This is the last eight? match before top eight, yeah. Last man to qualify. Whoa, we got the Ryu. Versus evil Ryu. Oh, this is a classic. All right, it's good that we got to see this. Was he playing Ryu earlier? Who are these players named? Uh, Kami's on the right with evil Ryu. Remember he lost to the DJ earlier? Oh, yeah, he was evil Ryu. That's right. Yeah. And Ryu we haven't seen before. Hardest man. No, because he's coin flipping his way here. He coin flipped his way past Filipino man. As a coin flipper, wouldn't you think he's playing like a Fuerte or like a mix up character? He's playing Ryu. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, you, even though that there's some connectivity issues, mm -hmm. this is lax. Like, we're trying to get everybody to play. So, uh -huh. like, yeah. all the scenarios, we're trying to do private lobbies, open lobbies, of course. try somebody else to join in because. We're trying to have some fun. So. Yeah, dude. And I mean, it's not like the winner of this is going to be competing <laughs> at Capcom Cup. Yeah. You're going to go as a spectator to have a good time at PlayStation Experience and watch this top Street Fighter action. Exactly. Hardest man, Kami on the right. He lost the DJ earlier. The score is definitely zeros. Oh, yeah. 43 reset. Here we go. Jump in, though. Nice whip punish. Man. Oh, and he's going to get the combo. Okay, so when he played earlier, combo, Kami was dropping those combos. Oh, nice. You see that stem? Medium kick from Eva Ryu. It's so good at blowing up any kind of low pokes, whether it's like shorts or medium kicks or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. We saw him use it against the cross deck earlier in the last time he played. Yeah. Oh, that's in the corner. Medium uppercut. Yes. The extension there. Oh. oh. Nice block on that cross up there. And the throw. And another one. Oh, I'll do it again. Oh, the over. Nice. Overcut. Overcut, yes, yes, sir. Of course it's going to happen. And good stuff. Call me the first round. If Hardest Man had Tatsu there, Uppercut may have come out the wrong way. No, yeah, it would have got over. The one thing, uh, when it comes to the neutral in this, regular Ryu does have the better uh, ground normal. See, he has the better low medium kick. Mm -hmm. His sweep's really great. Uh, and his EX Fireball knocks down, as opposed to Evil Ryu's who doesn't. Uh, the difference being that when Evil Ryu lands low medium kick, he gets that much damage, mm -hmm. and regular Ryu gets nothing. Oh, no. Because, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you see his his low medium kick much much better than Evil Ryu. Faster recovery, faster startup. And that yeah, that EX fireball knocking down instead of keeping him standing. So those are the things that Ryu wants to try to abuse in this matchup is just his crouching medium kick. Oh there it is. EX Tatsu and Ultra? Yeah. Time to die. What's the mix up? Overhead? Oh, he baited I knew it. it, yeah. And that was counter hit. That was not an actual punish. The oh. hardest man could have just gone grown man mode and done fierce uppercut. uppercut. Again. <laughs> yeah, I would have done it for sure. Well, medium one's the one that has invincibility, though, right? They all have invincibility. Medium one's better then? Medium one is better for anti air, usually, uh, because the fierce one trades a lot as an anti air. I see. And maybe doesn't get both hits. So, yeah, medium has the most invincibility in terms of anti air. I want to research this. You're going to research this? You're going to do your this. homework? Do some homework on this. Do your homework, Rip. Who do you think you are I am? What? <laughs> Who do you think you are I am? Have you seen that video? <laughs> no. This guy, he does well at a bowling tournament. And, you know, he's a, at a bowling tournament. So, like, he wins. Yeah. And he yells, who do you think you are I am? <laughs> One of so, the strangest things I've ever heard in my life. So, yeah, the heavy uppercut has one to four frames. The first four frames are invincible, and the medium one is one to five frames. Mm -hmm. invincible. So, slightly more invincibility on those. Boxer. Interesting. Boxer. Yeah, Borg. The setup here. I, I knew that. Just so, <laughs> so, I mean, the thing about that setup there is if. Oh, yeah, it's going to be crumbled. 
Nice. The full thing and the sweep. Now, sweep mm -hmm. is easier to combo on a lot of characters in this version because they got one frame faster in Ultra. Okay. Uh, but yeah, in the other version, a lot of characters can do it. Like Cami, it worked in, in 2012 and stuff like that. And he gets the jab, the FADC, one frame around that there and drops it. Ow. Oh. Oh, blows that up. Yeah, good stuff to get that turnaround punch. And that setup against up. that setup against Barrow is really good. Uh, but if he has meter available, he can do EX upper. And uh, basically, if Evil Ryu lands on the front, he gets combo. And if he lands in the back, Barrow just gets out. Okay. So yeah, with meter available, it's tough for Evil Ryu to, to go for that kind of setup against them. Uh, and if you want examples of that at, at Capcom Cup last year, uh, PR Rog was blowing up Daigo for going back. That's similar kind of setup. Nice, gets the sweep. And you see, I think Evil Ryu there is crouch teching with low medium punch. That's what it looks like. Okay. Oh, drops it. Yeah, yeah and that a lot of combos too. That FADC was important because at that distance, uh, Evil Ryu could reversal uppercut it. You see that focus blowing up crouch tech? Nice. The full thing goes for the air to air. And gets the dash. Look out. Oh, this could be big. Oh, and the drop combo. Oh, nice. there we go. Hits the combo when it matters that time. Got yeah. to get the kill with it. One round a piece here, game two. So Kami on the left. Both players, two bars a meter. It's 1-0 Kami, right? Yes. Yeah, 1-0 Kami here. Oh, goes to the throw. Yeah, you see the Evil refocus there? It's so good. It has so much range. Oh, nice. Set up in the back. Uh, yeah, it has so much range. You can also car it with his crouching medium kick. It's a really good focus. Ow, it's caught the jump and it's going to hurt. Doesn't get the full thing, but it's yeah, that's It's going to hurt for sure. Yeah. Yep. Red just spends uh, regular focus there. Oh man, there's so much oh, on this. Practice? Uh oh, is this gonna come back to Hanto? Oh man, that's big. Which side? Oh, and he's okay. Good wow. block on that. Oh, he can get the full thing. Have it, see? No, doesn't want it. Oh, in the oh, back. Oh, the cross up! Wow, and that's it. Kami, Kami. over hardest man. Dude, hardest man had such a, a lead there. When he had the stun, yeah. Could he have killed with, with red, red focus? focus? I'm not sure if that would have done more damage than spinning both the X bars yeah. like that. I feel like it would have done more damage in the front of the combo at least. Yeah, but I mean, does that give him more total damage? You know, if it I mean, does, either then way, he wins the round and that he wins that game. Either way, it's better for him to do a jump in instead of focus because focus yeah. scales your combo more sure. than a regular jump in. So red focus or jump in were the two yeah. best options there instead of going for for uh, wow. regular focus. So really unfortunate there. Really rough way to go out. But yeah. that, that's it. That's our top eight. Yeah, we are top eight is set. That's the end of top 16. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying. So Necromantic's in there. Necro Graham is Wolf in there. is in there, right? Uh, yeah, and we're going to be making a new bracket, which I think is going to get posted up on levelup.challenge.com if you guys want to check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to head to a quick break here. Come back. Top eight action here at Street Fighter Online. Winner is going to Capcom Cup as, as a, a spectator. spectator. We'll see you guys in a bit.
back. <laughs> Street Fighter Online Series. Hey, how's it going? I'm Steve. And I'm Rip. It's time for top eight action of the Street Fighter Online Series, episode one. Yeah, we're going to take a look at the bracket that we have going for top eight here. Mm -hmm. um, New so bracket. We just made it. You guys yeah. can check it out. Levelup.challenge.com in Winterside. We've got BCW Necromantic going up against Count Black. Necromantic, the Fuerte we know. Count Black, Elena Blair. Elena Blair, yeah. And, and then, then we've got Potface Chase and DJ Syrix. That's going to be Zangief versus DJ, as far as we know. Yes, that's yeah, the character that they used at least early in the tournament. And then loser side, we got one VG Arcade versus Katsui. VG Arcade, which character Honda. was he? Honda versus Katsui was Geef. Geef, yeah. And then we've got Damn Daigo versus Kami. And Damn Daigo, we've seen use DiCapre and Elena. Yeah. And Kami, we saw with Evil, Evil Ryu. Ryu. And that's I've, our top eight. I've seen he, uh, him play Evil Ryu for a while. Okay. I've seen Kami play before in the past, so... You know, not too surprising. Hey, there's us. How's yeah. it going? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, you know, Evil Ryu, that Ryu Sokyaku. It's a good move. Yeah. EX versus the overhead. If Very anybody nice. in the chat knows what that move is, because that's the actual move <laughs> name in case you guys are curious. Yeah. Somebody in the chat. Well, since you said the EX version is an overhead, somebody will know what it is. They'll know. Now they yeah. won't. But, mm -hmm. yeah, it's like, who says that? <laughs> I had to explain it to them. I had to give them a hint. Yeah, you, know? you did. Because if you didn't say that, they'd be like, oh, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. it's a weird name. Ryu, so what now? It has a. They're all just elongated Japanese names for the moves. So yeah, just the way it goes. Yeah, now that I think about it, like the move names are always like in whatever native language, right? Yeah, Usually. Tatsumaki Senpyaku, something like that. Senpyaku. I I put it together, man. Yeah, I mean. I speak quick. Tatsu. It's Tatsu. It's Tatsu because Tatsu. it's Tatsumaki. Well, Senpyaku. yeah. Necromantic. I mean, yeah, because like all Fuerte stuff are in. Uh, they're all like mm -hmm. tortilla, fajita. Dude, yeah, this Quesadilla. is this is a Tekken character, and it's Leo. You know Leo. Yeah, Leo. Yeah, it, all the all the movie names are in Chinese. Oh really? So it's like, what? <laughs> it's like, yeah. So you just call things by like notation. Like, shoulder, you oh. know, sweep, you know, like. That's how you what else are you gonna do? do it, dude. You know? Everything it gets confusing. Like she's got like a stance. I think it's like bulk stance, but like we call it bulk because it's something else, whatever. But anyway, it's like dude. ridiculous. That's. I mean, that's kind of how it goes. Like. As a viewer, mm -hmm. it's easier if you say something like that to understand than if the move yeah. name. Because if I don't know the move name, I'm like, what was that? I, I feel that like in, in fighting games in general, like when they have cool move names that uh -huh. people like to say, then you say it. it helps a lot. Like Death Fist. Death Paul's Fist Death is Fist. sick, right? Oh, right? Dragon Fist. Cannon, Dragon Flight, Legend Kick. You know, Those are cool. Yeah. Those are all cool names. Plus, like Death Fist, it looks like a Death it Fist. Yeah, you see like a chunk of life go boom, Death yeah, Fist. They're like, oh yeah, I can see the correlation there as a viewer. <laughs> you know? Man. Yeah, I mean, Fireball works that way. You fireball, know. yeah. It's a fireball. Yeah. Fireball. Everybody's projectiles are fireballs. Yeah, Sonic Boom is a cool one, obviously. Sonic Boom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we, uh... What up? Yeah, Count Black. He is from Canada. He was a Canadian player. Yes. The great Canadian hope, trying to make Capcom spend bajillions of dollars mm -hmm. to send him to San Francisco. Canada, that's far. Maybe he lives in, like, Vancouver. That's not that far. It's right above Washington. Oh, no, yeah, that's, that's not that bad. Mm -hmm. And it is, like, Northern California. Eh, yeah. It's closer. Close. Yeah, close. That's not too bad. It's, I mean, compared to other places in Canada, that's about as close as you're going to get to Capcom Cup. Mm -hmm. The fly into SFO, that's a cool airport. <laughs> yeah. I like nice. SFO. I like the, the way just the parking or the, the, not the parking, but when you pick people up, there's like the circular yeah. kind of roads, I guess, around there. Do you mind the LAX one? I don't think it's that bad. Hey, it depends. It's crowded. Yeah, when it's crowded, it's bad, you know. Like, I, I It's really this. simple, too, for an airport, LAX. Yeah, I feel like it's very straightforward, which is important because of how busy it is. Uh, Anyway, enough airplane talk. Yeah. <laughs> we mentioned earlier about this matchup that Elena has a lot of stuff that she can do to prevent Fuerte's offense. A lot of ducking, you said. Like, yeah, she can duck under a lot of his offense uh, mm -hmm. in general, just like uh, the splashes or the throws or anything like that. And on reaction, she can also slide. Slide's really good in this matchup because okay. that, because he doesn't really have great punishes on slide, to be honest with you. It's, it's not always the greatest. And okay. he's just looking for off the wall here. He's never manic. Yep. Yeah. You see the duck? duck? Yeah, all right, here we go. This is winner side action, top eight. Yeah. First match of the night here in the top eight. Yeah, and you see she has a very floaty jump there, so it's not super easy for her to get out of a lot of things. And you wow, see it nice. miss again, yeah. Yeah, her walk speed helps get out of those situations too. Yeah. So just the duck or the walk speed will get through a lot of things for Elena. Wow. That's punish. Inside. Oh, and she's running Ultra 1. Uh, so the thing is about Ultra 1 in this matchup is you can punish uh, Q-Bomb with it. Oh, nice. Yeah, Let's and block splash, that. block splash is a good option, too. There's, there's a lot of times you can use it. But I still like healing in a lot of cases. Nice. I think everyone likes healing in a lot Next of cases. Combo, anyway. yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. This, this ultra really doesn't scale that hard. Uh, as you can probably see. EXQ bomb? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. 
She has a lot of ways to punish that, but yeah, slide and sweep are both really easy meterless damage ways to punish that. She wants to spend some meter. You take a slight step, crouching strong into EX Mallet uh, is a way to punish. And yeah, the hitbox issues in this matchup for wow, she that's the second time he's just done like slide as a media. I think she's chasing back dash. Oh, I see. Wow, that back dash. Yeah, Perfect hers invincibility. Is, hers is really good. It doesn't go super far, but it recovers really fast. Nice, yeah. Oh, you see he tried a reversal uppercut there. And there's a red focus. Oh, he goes straight into Ultra. That's pretty rare for Necro. Yeah, usually he does run stop fierce, but maybe a hitbox is the We're gonna see a delayed wake up here. There it is. Oh, it doesn't get out there. And that's gonna go around. Yeah. And his foot. His foot, of course. <laughs> so sick with this outfit. So there you go, Necro gets on the board, one round apiece, first game. Yeah, and if I was Elena, I I would just be hanging out in this range trying to build some meter myself. And yeah, that slide is always a threat in this matchup. And another good thing for her too is how easy it is for her to knock down a Fuerte when he is knocked down. Wow, slide just gets through the invincibility. And there's the low. Goes low again. And yeah, Necromantic. Yeah, you see there, that's the mix up with Link's tail. Oh my gosh. Oh, and he tried regular uppercut again. There's no invincibility on that, so you have to use the EX version if you want the invincibility. Oh, that's punish. So you see there, Necromantic trying to build some meter and get out of there. He just wants the bar for Q bomb, most likely. Oh, that could be punish. Wow. Yeah, he tried to get a bigger punish, but unfortunately didn't get it. This could be the start. Uh, just back out though. And, you know, see, this is one of the weaknesses of uh, running Ultra 1 in this matchup is that he doesn't have healing available to do when Necromantic's trying to run away. Right. Nice tech. Oh, see what? the back throw? Yeah, yeah, or the forward throw even. Uh, to get out of that situation. Oh, did he get him? What? No. Oh my gosh. Nice try though. But there you go. Count Black gets the first game. One of the important things too about Elena in this matchup is if you meet with stand roundhouse or back roundhouse, okay. they both put you airborne, Ultra 2 will not hit you. Oh, I got you. Because okay. you're off the ground. Because she's off the ground. Yeah. So that's that's an important thing for Elena to keep in mind as well. Hmm. So there you go. Count Black, you're looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. He's been very impressive so far in his top 16 run. Yeah. That's all we've seen of him so far. Now what I'm curious about is Necromantic has uh, Rufus. That is correct. You think Rufus is a good matchup against Elena? I think definitely better than uh, El Fuerte, yeah, for sure. I think the Rufus pick <laughs> makes sense. Uh, I'm curious to see if Necromantic, if he knows the matchup, then I would go Rufus. But if he doesn't, then he should stick with his guns with El Fuerte. Let's see what he decides. He's taking a long time here at the character select screen. He might be considering it. Yeah, he might be. That, there might be something going on there with that. I'm not sure. I mean, this is still winner side of the bracket, so even if he loses, he's still in the tournament. But when you're trying to win a tournament, you don't get want first to place. Losers, yeah. You do not want to come from the loser side. Yeah, he's sticking it out for the And yeah, there's there's so many problems for him in this matchup. Uh, but uh, he can get the offense going and everything. And Elena doesn't have a, a real reversal without the X meter. So there's always that, but I don't know. We'll see. So here we go. Game number two coming up. Who will Okay, there we go, gets it started. And there you see the reversal with that uppercut. Again, no invincibility on it, but it's three frames. So it's just really fast. And again, alright, so the mix up there on Link's Tail, you saw that he went for the uh, medium kick version. And Necromantic assumed that it was heavy. So he's just sitting there blocking, waiting for the yeah. follow up links. And when it doesn't come, you just do crouching medium punch into the mallet smash. Very dominant around there for Count Black. Yeah, this is Necromantic about to be sent to the loser bracket if he can't pick, turn things around. And I mean, I think if I'm Count Black, I'll take that backdash by getting hit airborne there because you get out of the mix-up stuff. Okay, catches the backdash from Necromantic there and the forward throw can build some meter here. Yeah. Nice, nice GXP bomb. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Necromantic's really turned up his offense right now. He's playing a lot more passive before, and here we go. Yeah, because that runaway game against Elena is not really that effective as Forte, especially when she has healing. Uh, but yeah. you know, he doesn't have it in this case. And he, even these crash moves that are hitting him aren't doing much damage, oh, no. even with his low stamina. Yeah, that's that's a it. Mm -hmm. He actually, if he didn't dash there and did raw slide, he might have been able to punish the whiffs 
uh, grab attempt from Necromantic, but either way, fun around here in this match. Uh, Count Black can take this and, and move on into the Wow, is that a cross up? That was sick. Yeah, cross up. Fierce. Wow. And chases him down, gets some big damage, but he drops it. Goes low again. And a Ouch. Much damage there. Still Ultra 1 available for Elena. So yeah, any bad bombs or splashes could be Ultra 1. Oh, and, yeah, tough to block there. Oh, that's punish? Oh, that was his oh. chance, man. He could have got it started there for sure, but now Necromantic sitting on that Q bomb, and man, he just ran away with it. That was totally all Necromantic. He got the lead off the wall, super, super all over the place, and you could see Count Black was panicking. Yeah, and you know, the first round of that second game there, Count Black actually won it, and Necromantic was facing elimination, and then he, it's like he snapped, he woke up, you know, he's like, okay, I better start attacking, just forcing my mix-ups on him. Yeah. And that's essentially what he did there, and it really worked out. And you, like you said, Count Black started, pack, started panicking. Yeah, he was freaking out. He was doing like whiff, regular uppercut in the slide. Yeah, and a lot of like, like uppercuts in random places, you know, not random yeah. places, but you know what I mean. He was playing with passion. You know <laughs> sure. what I mean? He was very passionate, <laughs> making some passionate decision making. Uh, and yeah, when you start to get a little kooky there, then you don't have the opportunities to actually. You okay there? Did you hear that? Yeah, that was so crazy, right? <laughs> so weird. Uh, I've never adjusted my microphone and had that noise. I was like, yeah, what is that? Dude, that was funky. Yeah, this stuff is not easy. It's just weird. Uh, but yeah, I, I really wish he was running Ultra 2. Ultra 2. I, I really think. But that even if he does, I feel like Fortnite is just running it really quick. You can always cancel and just back that. Yeah, but you don't get much out of that. You get enough. I mean, and you know, he's got low stamina, so maybe he just wants to damage up the Ultra 1. Yeah, you see him baiting out the uppercut there too. Uh, Count Black has woken up with that a lot. Yeah, there, yeah. And again, it's like a little damage that was. Yeah, and it doesn't have invincibility, so he's just really hoping. Like it, it's oh, that's punish. Yeah, that was, that was a good bait. He could have got better punish on that, but he got something, which is better than no punish. And he gets the full loop. Oh my god! the race that. That's fun. Stun. Is he gonna do a heavy Rhino? Oh, wow. just does a little medium punch into the light kick Rhino horn. No way. He's unhappy. Yeah, good stuff to Count Black to, to recognize stun there and go for the reset. That was going to kill him. Yeah, again. If, if I was him on wake up, I would just, wow, be, nice try. I would just be ducking. Ducking with Elena in the like, late tech. Is, is I mean, I think option. if you don't know about that, though, then and if you, somebody told you that, you'd be like, what? You yeah, know? It's, it's very weird, yeah. He's done it a few times on accident. And again, Necro lose the first round, starts getting very aggressive the second, looking, working on a perfect here. Yeah, I mean, Count Black just, I don't think he's blocked a single Fuerte mix up on Wake Up. Yeah. Oh, the bait didn't oh, yeah. get anything though. And no punish there either, man. And Necro's got a lot of meter to work with for next round though. Oh, that's just So he's in it. good position right now to take this whole set if he can close this round out, which I think he'll be able to. Yeah, Count Black, he's, yeah, oh, yeah. he's just got to make something crazy happen. And now full meter for Necro going to this final round of the set. Yeah, locked and loaded. He's going to do Q-Bomb. Red focus probably on hit or block. And just go all in on that. And actually, ESQ bomb hasn't really hit Count Black much. There's one. Yeah, counter it as an as an end here. And yeah, just trying to yeah. get out with that uppercut again. On wake up, he's just been so insistent on trying to make anything happen but block. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Mm -hmm. So much damage because of that. Okay, that could have been big. Oh, wow. no, um, yeah. Yeah, he is just chasing him. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so tough to make this comeback. Yeah, he's got multiple he has Q bombs coming. I think he could just chip him with Q bombs. Oh, what a block from Necro. And good block. And the bomb, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It was coming there. You knew it was yeah, coming. Yeah. Count Black didn't throw it. Now he's in losers. Yeah, but I mean, very, very impressive stuff from Necromantic. Oh, he yeah. start off that set, I think, losing three rounds straight. No, no, no. It wasn't that bad. But he lost the first two rounds, yeah. Yeah. If it's, you go down the first game, lost the first round the next game, mm -hmm. still able to close it out, though. It seemed like Count Black didn't really know exactly what how to fight El Fuerte with Elena. He when, had some, like, basic ideas. Yeah, and when Necro was chilling, like, then he was much more comfortable. But mm -hmm. once Necro really put the pressure on him, that's when he started cracking. I mean, that's what happens with El Fuerte. He gets going. Of course. You start making bad decisions. Mm -hmm. It's really weird because, you know, illegal substances. Whoa, I don't know what you're talking about. But selling your 401k. You just make bad to life decisions when Fuerte uh -huh. pressures you like that. It oh, just sure. gets ugly, yeah. So I, was, I was looking I was at thinking. volcanic ash, super volcanoes. It's, it's dangerous out there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what were you going to say, Rip? I don't remember, man. Good. You changed like four topics there. I know. I was like, 401k, super volcano, what the hell's going on here? All those things are important. Uh -huh. You know what else is important? The no. winner of this tournament gets to go to Capcom Cup as That's a spectator. Important. As a spectator. Yeah. 
Man, I'm, I still believe that there's someone in this tournament who thinks that if they win, they're in the tournament. They could be. I guarantee you somebody is like, I'm in there, man. Yeah. I'm going to be the Capcom Cup champion. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I mean, somebody from this tournament could go to an offline event that's a qualifier still and win. To get they in, could. Technically. Canada Cup's coming up if you're in North America. Last premier that's event. That's a premier event, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I think there's still like one or two other in Canada? Asia or something somewhere far from us. Oh, essentially is what it is. Asia. That's why SoCal Regionals and... Canada Cup with the last two North American Premier events. Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Man, the, the one before that was like a while ago, right? It's been a long time. Like CEO? I think so. Or something? Or Evo, maybe? Yeah, I guess Evo. Evo. Africa. It's kind of like an international tournament anyway. Yeah. So here we go. Pot Face Chase, is that his name? That's his name, yeah. And DJ Syrix. Geek versus DJ. Yeah. And we saw Pot Face Chase beat that other Elena player to make top eight earlier. And yeah, that was a crazy good set. DJ Sirius beats comeback. the uh, Kami. He beat Kami the career player. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what Geef does to get in here. Okay. Risk taking. Oh, there was oh no Lariat God. there? I didn't expect him to go in either, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, <laughs> I think that's probably why it worked out. He was just like, what? Dangerous, man. So you just, yeah, all these air slashes here. You just, Throwing him out. Oh, there's nice the Larry. Yeah. Now the thing is, I don't think he can really do jump mix-ups on uh, DJ because of up kicks. He's, he's scared about the reversal. Okay. So he's just gonna keep the pressure. Like, am I gonna jab or I'm gonna pile driver? Oh, and he chases him down. Uh oh. Oh, he's, he's running. Oh, what the fierce speed! So much damage. He's gonna do another green hand. Oh, he tried to. Is that a jump back jab? That was definitely SPD. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a miss. Perfect input. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, and he wow, the green throws him out of green hand. He's going to do EX. Not, yeah. Oh, wow. One more of those. And that wow, could be nice. See? Look at the look on his face. Yeah, he's like, trip card. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's so happy about his life. DJ is like the happiest oh, character no. ever for no reason. Yeah, what are you for no reason, dude? Life is so hard. For no reason. Oh, nice. Yeah, see, those jump setups, I mean, they don't really work on either character. <laughs> they both have answers to it. You gotta keep the pressure grounded. Ooh, round Ouch. Out. Chopping him. Okay. Yeah, has the meaty uh, fireball there. Still, unfortunately, corner positioning, and that could have been Larry. Oh, and he whoa, drops it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's gonna cancel super. Or oh. ultra, I mean, no, it doesn't do that. Man, gonna all that the round. Arc. Yeah. On. Rough way to go. But it's not over yet. Game one still on. Final round coming up. Man. He just dropped the combo there. He, yeah. he tried to confirm super, but. That was a it. huge error. It really was. Because had he hit super and ultra, Keith would have had like yeah, 10%. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, and there it is again. Yeah, you see him baiting out uh, all this forward advancement from Keith. Okay, Ultra 1 for Geef, ready. I'm surprised he's not running Ultra 2. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Ultra 1, not a bad option either. Both good Ultras. Is that combo? I look like it. All he needs is one standing light kick, EX green hand, red focus, which everybody has seen a billion nice times. Nice punish. Is it slide? Oh, he tried. I wonder if he could Ultra punish there. Oh, he baited it out. Good stuff. And now the red focus, not a threat against DJ. Punish? Oh, this could be big. And this is exactly the kind of comeback we've seen from Potface Chase before. He has to chase down. Is he going to chase with the X green hand? Something to red focus. Oh, man. And the back dash to get out of there. There red it is. Focus. Red focus. Ultra? Okay. For Mother Russia. I don't think this is enough. Oh, it might be. It's going to be close. Not enough. He needs chip. Ultra? He needs chip. Oh, and the wow. green hand. Yeah. That was like, you know what that was? Uh, that was really good from Poffy's chase because the first thing he did was like, he didn't chip immediately. Mm -hmm. When you yeah. want to chip someone, you don't want to do it at the first possible right. moment because mm -hmm. that's the obvious one. Right. You have to wait to see if they're going to do something like crazy, like ultra or something. Give them and a chance then, to hang themselves. Yeah, and then you do it. That That's like the important thing. So Potface Chase with another crazy comeback. Dude, like he turns 90% of his matches into like scrambles. Yeah, he's like, like I'm about to lose. You're going to win. I promise. You're going to win. I promise. Boom, Red Focus, you're dead. Yeah, dude. He's like, all right, I'm going to make this a scramble and a scramble against Zangief. You're done. I'm either SPDing or Lariating. Yeah. You're done, though. 
But I think this is how the DJ Search's first set went as well. He lost the first game, and we're like, oh, okay, yeah. bummer, DJ. And then he's like, check this out. I'm not going to drop my Super and Ultra this time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we, we literally said, oh, bummer, DJ. Just like that. <laughs> I think that's exactly what we said. But, I mean, he made top eight winners here with DJ, so yeah. obviously he knows what he's doing. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Oh, you see him back Backdash the green hand. Nice. Oh, man. No punish there on the whiff, Larry. He tried a couple times, you saw. That low short in the standing short was probably like low short with Sobot. He just didn't get it. Nice Larry again. Is he going to try to jump set up? Uh, he, just, oh, oh, oh. he just has a good one. Hey. He's such a jolly guy. <laughs> What are these options to get over? You see, like, the instant jump medium kick and instant jump knees from Geef? It's so weird looking. So, Geef with a lively. <laughs> What's he trying with the can can kick? I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, but yeah, you see him just kind of hanging out here. He does have the lead. Oh, yeah. But this chip is going to add up. Yeah, he's got a lot of time still. He's still making his way into that corner. Not Slow quite. and steady. Yeah, not quite on red focus either yet. TJ gets the whole thing, and he can hit him from Super Ultra now. Oh, nice. nice. Uh oh. Does he have a chip set up here? Oh, there's no oh, problem. He, he, nah. Nice. Did you see the spacing on that? That was good, yeah. They jump, you know you got to. Yeah, dude, he busted out the protractor, was ready with the stand medium kick. That was so good. Okay, big jump in. DJ gonna be Whoa. safe there. Well, I'm surprised he didn't SPD. SPD. Yeah, yeah. That, I definitely thought that, that was coming. Pushing him to the drafts. Okay. Is he I think he was still had that stuck in his head. He's like, I should have SPD. Yeah, I think so. Again. Oh, that's one of those oh. things where, yeah, like you, you don't do it the first time. You're like, all right, the second time I'm doing it, and then like, yeah, it's too late. Oh, too oh late. my goodness. Yeah. Another? Oh, I, I think he might have tried it. Is he going to spend his meter and try to do Super and Ultra here if he gets an opportunity? I would only do it if it's going to kill. Like, that's that's my recommendation okay, there. Okay. And yeah. I think that might have been a punish. I don't think that's okay. enough. Oh. Chip. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I mean, he still this has a chance. Get crazy. Okay, okay. Good. okay good. Good. Yeah, even, like, even, even though it traded, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm just happy that it didn't get too much crazier for uh, for DJ Sirix there. But here we go. Final round. He's got all his meter. Mm -hmm. Pop is one match from uh, moving into Winner's Finals. Oh, nice, Larry, too. Okay. DJ Sirix answering back. It's so funny because both these characters cannot do, like, jump setups on each other at all. So they're pretty much like, all right, I'm going to knock you down and walk up and do, like, jab or throw. It's very, very like, straightforward. Mm -hmm. He's got a half-life bar lead now. Both have so much meter, and, yeah, there's a miss space still about there. I don't think I like that. Uh, yeah, oh, well, he's, at least he's right back to it. Catches him there. Oh, and he baits oh, up nice. the lariat. Oh, he spends oh, the whole the red. thing. Dude, that's going to do so much damage. I know. Because the red was just one hit there oh, into the ultra. Oh, my gosh. Poor DJ. Wait, now he's got a chance for a super and ultra, though. <gasps> chance? Oh. I, I thought he was going to do it. Oh, that was a big whiff. He spins no the meter. Wow, I thought he was going to back throw him. He's stuck in the corner still. Fancy air. No. no. And that's going to be it. Oh, pop face chase. 2-0 over DJ Sirix. That's the way it goes. But DJ Sirix still in the tournament. Just gets sent to the loser bracket. Wow. It's, it's so that's hard the way he won that uh, that first round, I think it was. Yeah. Was same it the first thing. game? Same kind of thing. Yeah. Man, it's so hard not to root for DJ. <laughs> yeah. Man, the red fighting. focus too, though, man. Like, like he blocked. The, I think it was the green hand. Yeah. And then he just got caught with the red focus right after it. That's tough. Right? He probably just try to punish the green yeah, hand. Yeah, exactly. But you got to know that, that when the meter's stocked up like yeah, that. Yeah. And it's down to that kind of a situation. He's got to do red. He's gonna spend the red focus. So there you go. So that, does that set up Necromantic DJ. versus uh, Potface Chase? Yeah, it does. Necromantic, Fuerte, Potface Chase, Zangief. Mm -hmm. And Fuerte is very annoying for Geef. Mm -hmm. He's all over the place. All right, so we're going to turn to losers here. More Geef play. More Geef. And VG Arcade. Oh, versus Honda. Double zero one. Yeah, he's got yeah. like seven names, right? I don't know. They've all got a V in it. Yeah, they do. They're like VG, and then after that, he just freestyles. Yeah, so we've got Honda. Honda versus Geef. And Geef. Unless there's like a, a character switch or something. Right, which we could see. Of course. It's so. the internet. We don't know who's at his house. Dude, yeah. He could have anybody over. Combo Fiend could be jumping on the sticks right now to protect he Capcom. Could be, yeah, Combo Fiend could be hiding behind a wall, playing for him while he's that? cosplaying as a chun Did you see? That was you know? so hilarious. Oh, that was so good. That was like the funniest thing ever. Yeah. 
I didn't know Combo Fiend knew how to play on a pad. That's what I took away I've, from that video. I've seen him play on pad before. Like there's like some, he did like a video with like GameSpot or something like okay. that. Okay. And like he was Actually, yeah, it's it. probably yeah. something when you're in that position, you gotta get you gotta used to it. Yeah. Whenever you go on the road to this, it's pretty easy to play that game on pad, I think. Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Uh, back to Street Fighter 4. Zangief, Honda. So we learned Katsui is an old school player. Alex Rai go. gave the business back in the day. So for the chance to fight against Daigo. But uh, one thing about him that I noticed early in his matches, he does like to get kind of panicky on defense. Uh, but he has excellent footsies. Oh, definitely funny. Ouch. He's going to reverse it. Oh, the whole thing. Oh, oh more my. hands. Ah, she slapped. Slapped though with the uh, tanks off his back almost. Man. Nice. Wow, that was crazy. Oh, he's coming. Dude, I, I literally, he was down back for so long. I thought he was just going to get hit by that, I was like, that, right? what are you doing, man? Move. Get out Move. of there. <laughs> it's like a horror movie. They're just yeah, sitting there watching like, him come the at him. The killer's coming. Yeah, you should run. Or like the building right. falling and you should run directly in the path that it's falling instead of going to the side yeah, one step, you know? There's always like the, the protagonist in horror movies who just falls. Who can't stand yeah. up and run for more than I don't than know how to feet. run anymore. The yeah, eggs headbutt, though. Much better out for Katsui this time. Yeah, definitely. Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh -oh. hands so much. Wow. Oh, nice. That's gonna be there. I don't think Honda had charge to really get out of there. Yeah. He had oh. just come forward. Dude, did he just know? Got him. Hmm? Was that? Did he just understand? Was he in his inner cortex there? Did you see the instant jump splash to beat the air to air? That was crazy. Some people call it a read. Other people say, "Wow, you're crazy." But that was sick. That was yeah. really good. That was. That was just like. Oh, wow. what a whiff! Oh, in the super too. Nice. Big damage there. And what's nice is he gets to build some meter now uh, to work with, but he doesn't have EX headbutt. So if he gets knocked down, it could be dangerous. Red, Red. focus? Yes, oh, sir. Man. Oh, reset. And that's fierce SPD. Oh, my damage. Oh, he oh, got, got Did him. Did you see Katsui's so Oh, what a genius. That was sick. I wonder if he's still working on stun. I don't know if he's going to need it, but. Oh, now he's just hanging out? Yeah, he's backing up. It sounds like he's Larry's in Ganryu now. Maybe. Which is weird. <laughs> he's going to walk up. Oh, man. Honda. Oh, all he needs is like a whip punish and, a, and an Ocho. Oh, no. Wow, he jumped in at him? Oh, nice. and he had the read. Yeah, that was so smart. That's yeah. funny. Backdash. I can't even think. Like, what would Honda have done to chase that? Like, nothing threatening, right? No. Yeah, I don't think he could have done anything too scary. Maybe like hands or Walk up. Meet. He, can't, he can't like walk, walk up. Walk up roundhouse, ultra. maybe. Yeah, that's nothing. I mean, walk around his hurts. So there you go. Katsui takes the first game. Yeah. Vi about to hop on the sticks. <laughs> Assert his dominance as the Alpha 3 yeah. champion. Damn Daigo chilling somewhere. Oh, the headset's coming on. Uh -oh. uh, All right. A, a, little, a little throwback. A little history uh -huh. on Graham Wolf yes. is part of half of the Wolf Brothers. Both of them extremely good mm -hmm. and old school Street Fighter. Right. Um, okay. His brother is the best Dalsim player um, in the country at the time. Okay. And Graham Wolf, when he took me, he actually reset the bracket at at the Alpha 3 National. Well, took down to the wire. Went down to the wire. And then by one, got bodied by Daigo. Yep. The rest is history. <laughs> Yeah, you see, look at that, the double lariat there, like, the first one didn't work, he's like, I'm doing it again. again. And man, so, like, he saw so much, whoa, wow. that, no. Yeah, he is getting so uh -oh. crazy. Oh my he god! Did mash out on that? He was like, yeah. I'm, dude. So I don't care, if you messed up, I got you, man. Yeah, he was spinning, this man was churning, he's been churning since Alpha 3. <laughs> that was crazy. But, I mean, th there's no reason not to. Yeah, you're totally right. I know, I'm not saying I wouldn't have been churning too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they made all the right decisions. Wow, did, he just got him out of his own SPD there. What a round. And like, if I'm Katsui there, like, that round didn't go great, but like, you tried a lot of things. Yeah. And like, he tried so many things. Like, if I'm. He's in his head, man. Yeah, am I. If I'm versus gameplay, I'm like, man, this guy is doing everything. I'm so scared. Nice. That's that medium kick? Yeah, that's that medium kick for there from Geef. Oh, yeah, he's tried punish. that a couple times. Oh, man. That's why I asked. I was going to ask him if it was a punish for hands. And he, I, I think he thought it was there. Then just whipped because it's out of range and he got super because of it. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is definitely a second game here for versus gameplay. Oh, yeah. 
One one. Beat down. That was gross. He beat the heck out of him. That was crazy. Yeah, this is loser bracket action. Uh huh. I just realized Necromantic to winner's final. He is. I mean, WNF Online. And Potface Chase, man. Street Fighter Online. He's there. a veteran. He's a veteran of online. He's he's traveled through coin flips, zero issues, connections, all those kind of things. Necromantic, when it comes to online play, he knows what he's doing. He's a professional. Here we, we go. go. Final, Final game. Match. It's of the Coming up. Gross. Vega. I mean, this is another old school character. Why not, right? Yeah. I mean, if you know how to play him. Who did he use uh, in Super Turbo, Alex? Or Alpha 3. He pretty much played everybody. Anyone that's OP, this is what Vi is saying. He liked the cheap characters? Okay. Oh, you see him trying to anti guy there with the low fears. This doesn't work oh. out. Nice, nice air throw. That was sick. He was totally ready for that. Air to air roundhouse. Okay. Punish. Nice. Yeah, he gets the back throw. And yeah, you know the thing is, uh, oh yeah, second time he showed an anti air there. In the you see the thing is, like his gameplay is very simple. Mm -hmm. He's not trying anything fancy or anything weird. It's very simple. Wow. Oh, that was kind of tricky. Sick. Just, air throw, just kidding. Yeah, jump air throws, ground throw. Oh, oh mask. Is up. He wants it bad. You see that that jump forward yeah. was just to get the mask. It's okay. At this point, you need just damage to kill him too. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need enough. Oh, he tried to he tried to like uh, FADC there and get the Ocho. He's going for the mask. Yeah, now that he's he has the ability to walk back, Honda's gonna yeah. have to give up the screen and give him the mask. Oh, what a punish though. Oh my god. He chased him down. Wow. Oh, they're like, yeah. Honda has a slight lead. Oh, oh my god, nice block. He tried to get like he tried to do like something that was just trickery. Yeah. He tried to be He tried funky. to he made he tried to make it look like he's going for the mask and catch him off guard at the cross. I think that was the plan, yeah. He tried to get weird at the end, it didn't work out for him. And you see his Vega has been pretty simple so far. Nothing fancy. They're getting a little crazy now. Oh, oh again. unfortunate. He's tried a couple of buttons to answer here now, and like none of them have really worked out. Okay, it's the Azuna drop. Oh, you see the other side there from Honda? Oh, again, man. Got him. Yeah, versus the gameplay, life bar is pretty close. He makes headbutt though. Yeah, now that he's got the lead, he, there's no reason to move forward and risk doing like something unsafe and getting hit by Ultra 2. Okay, air to air. Wow, his air to air has been so good too. He's had the air to airs with different buttons and the air throw. Nice, and yeah, he's working on, on getting rid of that lead, and now he's in the lead. Okay, well, had it for a second. Wow. Corner pressure coming up, nice. Jumps out way out of there. And he wanted so much space, he just kept on jumping back. <laughs> yeah, if, if Honda here, he has the meter, he doesn't have to take any unnecessary risks. Oh, there's a the headbutt. Nice, yeah, oh my yeah. damn it, and that's it. it. So it's like that mask, man. Anytime we saw that mask on screen, it's like, this is going to screw me up. I, yeah, I need dude. that mask, or maybe I don't. Versus gameplay takes it 2-1 with Honda. Old school alpha legend out of the tournament. Yeah, he made it pretty far, though. Top eight. He goes home with seventh place. I mean, that's not bad. It's pretty good. Pretty good. This is a big bracket. Yeah, we started the 128 man bracket. Uh, the winner for it, of course, going to Capcom Cup 2015, December, as a spectator. Gonna be fun. You know, we keep bringing that up because, again, some people probably think this is the real deal. Yeah, you know, it's good to clarify. It's good to clarify. Good to clarify. Yeah. Yeah. I wanna make sure that people, uh, are getting their hopes up too much. Hey, mom, guess what? Yeah, I'm going to Capcom Cup. I'm playing for 20 kajillion dollars. Yeah, I'm going to be Bong Chan. Free. No problems. Mm -hmm. Of course, this is Street Fighter Online Series Episode 1. We got another one coming up November 3rd. You guys are free to enter for free when the sign Did up Did you just call up. them all free? No, I said you guys are free to enter. Does that mean I called them free? I don't know. It's kind of sound. You said free it like It sounds a little times. bit like it, yeah. yeah. But it is free to enter the tournament. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh -huh. 127 guys are going to be free. Yeah, whoever that's for wins. Sure. Mm -hmm. 
Filipino man was free. So the coin toss. That's Where's for my sure. coin at? Yo. You have the coin right there. This coin is amazing. It always lands on tails. It's, it yeah, always it's... lands on tails, even though it's got a head side. I wonder if it's like weighted. Like, you know, they started putting these different prints on the back. Mm -hmm. I wonder if these prints like Are mess weighted. it up. I don't like know. Mess things up. Well, yeah, the maybe the weight is, distribution the of the coins are different. I didn't rig them. I'm saying the, the government rigged them. Oh, okay. The government rigged the them government. to always land on tails. Yeah. You know. I don't know how that works. I don't know either. That's a good. That's a good question. Yeah. The government probably made that super volcano too. I think so. No. Yeah. <laughs> man, is Filipino <laughs> man the only person to enter a tournament and lose twice without playing? Probably not the only person. He's probably not. He's there, one of the few. I, I know that there have been people who have been triple eliminated from tournaments. So this isn't like the worst case scenario here. Rico Suave at MLG Anaheim. Exactly. I, he got he's like, like one of them. I mean, he got like he got, eliminated uh, five times. Ridiculous, right? Didn't he end up getting like top eight there? He made it pretty far. I know he played a first to three that ended. The score was like 5-4. I, I think that. I know Slayer did that. Yeah, because like halfway through yeah. the match, they're like, all right, you guys stop. And it's then, the wrong like, version of the game or, or something. something. Yeah. And then they like made him restart it. And he, it, was, it was like 2-2, two, two, and then yeah. they replayed it, and it yeah. ended up like 3-2, and it was like, they ended up like weird. Yeah, total weird. cluster muck. It was bad. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy, man. Rough times. Mm. Yeah, for sure. This music is sick, by the way. I don't know what they're is saying. It, it sounds like a Honda theme, right? Or is it like Chun-Li? Or I don't know whose it is. <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. Mm -hmm. You're definitely making stuff up. I'm just making stuff up. You could be. <laughs> Who do we have coming up next, Alex? Damn Daigo. And oh, and the Evil Ryu guy. Tommy. Yeah. Damn sick. Daigo and Evil Ryu. Now, the real question is, who is Damn Daigo going to play against this Evil Ryu player? DiCaprio rested away. Calling it. You think so? Now that he's... He's had a couple of close calls with Elena. I think it's time for Damn Dai side of Damn Dai Go to come out. Man, if he makes it all the way back and it's him versus Necromantic Grand Finals of Street Fighter Online. Dude, wouldn't that be crazy that if, he, be. if he used like Ryu and DiCaprio? Right? I mean, Even yeah. Ryu and DiCaprio even? That yeah. would be crazy. That would be cool. Man, do you have any, like, who are your top idol, like, Street Fighter players that, like, when you were coming up or when you were starting out of the scene, like, these were the players you looked up to. That's like, a good like question. Like, I feel like this guy might be damn Dai and Daigo. You know, that, those yeah, are yeah. two heroes. Like, I'm going to my name's guy. I'm going to be both those guys, you know? Well, what's yours? I've, well, it was Daigo for a while. Uh-huh. Because, I mean, the Ryu, like, it's hard not to be impressed by Ryu play. It's very simple. <laughs> Is that simple. how you got into the scene? With it's the, very uh, simple. The parry? No. Yeah, the parry. That was, that was way before my okay, time. Okay, I don't know. Well, that I know, but I'm saying maybe, like, that's what I'm saying. Because it's yeah, before your time. Uh, the Daigo Justin Wong Grand Finals, for sure. Oh, oh no. 2009. Right. That was ridiculous. That was and then sick finals. I was a big Sokko fan for a while. But then I was like, his execution's too good. It's, like, frustrating to watch. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, I'm like, my execution's good, but his execution's, like, a next level. And that's why Evil Ryu, to me, is like such a cool character. Back when he was playing him in A2012. Mm. And that's Punish, yeah. There we go. And yeah, like you know thing what? right back. If that's how you want to play, you want to you go crazy, you want to be passionate in your decision making, I'll do the same thing. Who was that? Was that Ringe that said that? What? That the, the tweet the, about yeah, like, that passionate the, instead of like, God, random Ringe, or whatever? Ringe yeah. Is the, yeah, passionate was my version. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that would have been sick. That would have been sick. Oh, that's definitely a punish. It doesn't get huge, but it's enough. Evil Ryu is a oh, crouching medium kicking a dream away from a uh, huge lead here. Okay. Oh, wow, that wasn't actually Yo, that bad of an uppercut. Is that the Hiachi symbol back there? You Tekken players. No, I'm saying it's the Street Fighter cross Tekken stage. I just oh, didn't realize maybe. that they kept it there. Oh, wow. I think, and now it kind of looks like Shadow Loop. Oh, uh, it could be. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So he has Ultra 2 locked and loaded. And like I said, Evil Ryu is always a crouching medium kick. Fireball and a dream away from winning every round, pretty much. Oh, he was looking for it. If that had been scramble dive kick, it might have been enough. And that's it. Excellent back throw. Empty scramble throw is the inescapable, unteckable, infinite. We saw Knuckle good. do. Oh, Knuckle did it like 11 and a half times in the team tournament this year. and it worked like every time. That's actually really interesting. Could this be Knuckle do? I don't think so. The play style is pretty similar. There hasn't been enough taunts. That's a good point. Oh, in the front. Maybe he's hiding it though. Doesn't want to be a tell. He doesn't want to be maybe a tell. He did get a lot of his Capcom points from online tournaments last Capcom. Point. Wow, okay. So okay, maybe okay. he wants to go as a spectator this time, even though he's already going to be in it probably. <laughs> Is he in the top 32? I think so. Okay. Nice confirm. And yeah, the low medium kick there because it was too far for any other confirm. That was the most damaging option from you. 
That'd be so messed up. People from who qualified entered this, so people couldn't enter, couldn't come spectate the tournament. What a jerk. Good stuff. Wow, the damn nice. Daigo. Two rounds straight. Yeah, he's had this very evasive style that Kami has kind of run into everything yeah. on the way in. That's kind of a lot of scrambles. He's getting his head with the scrambles. Because like, if Kami throws a fireball, he's gonna slide under it. Mm -hmm. So like, Kami's like, all right, I just won't throw a fireball. I'll walk forward, and then you get this evasive scramble stuff, and it's like, all right, I can't deal with this. I'm right. gonna throw a fireball, and then the slide comes again. So it's like, man. Life is so hard. Whose theme is this, Rip? You Why are you jamming out. You look it's like so you're sick. playing Rock Band over there. Dude, Rock you're Band. You're drumming on the table. It's sick. You're a big fan of the new Rock Band? Is it cool? Yeah, dude. You know what? I mean, I don't know when they started doing this, but I've never played a Rock Band where you can have two microphones. Oh, so that was, last that? night was my first time now. And, uh -huh. and they went through and added to all the old songs. They split up the parts. So There's it's, like two. It's like doing karaoke with two people? Yeah. That's and so like, cool. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty awesome. If you liked Rock Band before, I, I recommend Rock Band 4 now. Sick. Here we go, game two. Damn Daigo versus Kami. Mm. Damn Daigo. Gets the, uh, gets the start. Wow, that was a really weird setup. And that was hard to block, but there was no confirm there from Kami. He just got jab, jab short. I wonder what he was looking for there. The thing about Evil Ryu uh, confirms is that they're very space dependent. So like when you see him land low medium kick fireball at ADC, what he chooses to go for and what he can go for that's most optimal is very different depending on space, depending on whether the character's standing or crouching. There's like a lot of decisions there that have to be made. Oh, that's that medium kick. So good. Got him. Chip. EX, EX uppercut could have been chip, but he just didn't go for it. Oh, nice. He just, teleport he just through. teleports into him. <laughs> wow, if he backed into the ultimate, that would have been so funny. Oh, yeah. See? Damn, Daigo walked forward. Like, yeah. you're not going to hit a button after that. What if I uppercut? Mm -hmm. uh, like, I'll hit a button. Yeah, Cammy hit it. And it was not a fast button. No. That crash medium kick's like, it's not super fast. It's like seven frames. Oh, nice whip punish. Well, yeah, I was oh, going to say, no. you have to be careful about the uppercut there, because uh, the hitbox is not going to work. It's not going to cooperate. Jump bait. Good blocks there. Nice slide under again. He's had really good reactions to the fireballs. Yeah, he's got a lot of up because they haven't really worked out for him though. That time he had, he spent a meter to keep it safe. Yeah, super high on that EX drill. EX drill is such a good move for Eddie Kaepernick. Oh, there he goes again. Yeah, the uppercuts just have not been working out for him. He, I think he was trying to look for a punish on the hands, but it was it was really well spaced. Like that was not close enough to be a punish. She kind of has to be like right near your fist when you uppercut. Nice whip punish again. Spout will determine who is the strongest. Yeah, I mean you can really see that Kami is really scared to throw fireballs now. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like every time he has, he's gotten punished for it, so... There comes a point in your head where you're like, Alright, I'm, I'm just getting too punished too much for it. But it's like your primary way to control space, so... You gotta keep doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's still scary against the Capri in general, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was so difficult to block. Okay, all he needs is a low medium kick. Yes, yes sir. The whole thing? Oh, oh set up. Oh, what a block! Wow. This could be stun. Should be, yes yeah. sir. Is he gonna just jump ultra? Yes. Not gonna be enough though. This is like super. Look how little damage skill. he's doing. You can yeah. see it. He, he did a pretty long combo yeah. beforehand. That did like nothing. He's gonna he's dive like, kick in the front. Overhead. overhead. Kami gets the match. Brings yeah, it back. Man. Didn't even need, need. Didn't even need to use his Ryu so Kyaku. That's true. Dude, all he needs is a crouching medium kick and a dream. That's like literally it. Right he had the dream. Him. I don't think he hit the crouching medium kick though. He hit something else. No, he did. He hit two in the corner. I don't think. That, I mean, I know he comboed into the corner, but I don't think it was off crouching medium kick. It might have been something else. It's a fireball. Medium kick, fireball, F okay. I know. I know the fireball came into the combo, but yeah. I'll take that your goes. word on it. But there we go. Set tied up. Kami and Damn Daigo. I was thinking like, man, maybe Damn Daigo's Jace the Ace, but. <laughs> But uh, the bar is a yellow, man. I don't think so. Yeah, you don't think Jace is playing on that, that Wi-Fi connection or something? I don't think that makes you yellow. I think it just makes you green and crappy. <laughs> green and crappy. <laughs> Interesting des <laughs> description there. Uh -huh. Is that what green bars are? That's what Wi-Fi is. Yeah. That's what Wi-Fi is. Okay. <laughs> it's analogous. Dang, weepy It's players. analogous. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, final game. Kami and Damn Daigo. Yeah, I wish Kami would go for like more car focus. 
Oh my, just lands a big jump in there. And yeah, DiCaprio's out. You see how fast? It's just like, I should get out of the corner now. I guess I'm going to do that real quick. Okay. Oh, that could be punish? punish? No. I, I'm pretty sure he could have. I think so. It was too. very high on the body. Yeah, you see him walking DiCaprio down now. And now more liberal with the fireballs. Slide's probably coming. Scramble's probably coming, yep. And there's the throw again, yeah. Oh, what a bait on that jab there. You saw that come out. He was just so ready. Oh, just teleports back. All right. I wonder if he was just trying to bait out uppercut since Dan Daigo had two bars there. Could be. Yeah, safe on that and a lot of chip. Mm -hmm. A huge lead now for Dan Daigo. It's just so amazing. So tough to pin this character down with scrambles. And the jump back drill always available if you try to overcommit. Okay, that was nice throw tech. That was a very important uh -oh. throw tech. You know, time is going to become a factor here for Tom if he doesn't turn around something. Now, that's going to be a problem. Goodbye. That's like the third time he's tried to punish those hands. And they are minus three, and he has a three-frame uppercut, but, like, you got to you gotta yeah, look at the spacing, man. It's, it's got The hitboxes have to line up, man. you got to be a nerd and, like, know the spacing and, like, how often that's going to hit. Like, you, you have to have that done. Yeah, the hitboxes have to be visible when they're not visible. Mm -hmm. That's what training stage is about. Gotta look at the squares. Become one with the squares. Nice. Man, slider and fireball. It's so consistent with the team. Yeah, a lot more jumps from Kami. I don't mind the jumps because if Damn Daigo is walking backwards, there's not an answer here that's going to be great there. In the back. Oh, nice confirm. Although, yeah, I don't oh, think it, that was so great. Oh, Whatever. The expert gets an overhead. It is true. <laughs> oh, just building meter there on the top two. He's going to block. Yes, sir. All the blocks. No uppercut there. Kami, I thought he might, but he didn't pull the trigger. She's one of the only characters who, like, when she walks herself back to corner herself, yeah, I was gonna say, she's just out of there. She's like, I don't care, I'll scramble out whenever I want. Yeah. The yeah, sand medium kick. Oh, and the overhead oh, on that. Oh, man. That Dive kick. Shaku. Oh, yes. Didn't get the look out. Oh, oh, man. Opportunity. Oh, oh, he tried to bait at an uppercut there. He did. He didn't get one. And then that standing medium kick there mm -hmm. from Kami, that was so slick. Yeah, that's one of Kami's favorite buttons. It's so good. It's good, yeah. It's just so good. It beats, like, er every low poke attempt, including, like, low jabs and stuff like that. Here we go, final round of the set. Yeah, slide again. Yeah, he's totally ready for that. Nice the uppercut. There we go. That's one that worked out for him. Good time to work out, final round. Oh, and then it just comes in. That's one of the first times he's just scrambled in like that. That's true. That uppercut didn't work out, but at least he had the meter to cancel. Eat some chip from the hands. Yeah, he's trying to get another axe kick there. He's spending a lot of meter on that. And Ryu does need those, those meters to confirm off his fireball. Oh, punish? Oh, oh now good punish. blocks, though. The patience by Kami there. Nice throw tech. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, that's just so good. Off a jump back to be yep. able to advance like that. Uh oh. And punish, and he's going to have the ultra one out. Yep. If he, if he blocks this, it, it might be an Ultra up or teleport? Yeah. Teleporting out. That's important. He gets away from it. Oh, oh that's pretty good for him, actually. Oh, yeah. All things considered, not bad. He's got a last chance of opportunity here. He's got ultra stock. Wow, good throw tech. Just walked all the way across the screen for yeah, it. Yeah, Kami with a good Look reaction out. there. Oh, and the empty scramble throw. Damn, Daigo. Oh. Eliminating Ume's, Kami. Yeah, Ume scrambles his way into, <laughs> what is that, loser's quarters, I think? Something I think like so, that. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not bad. That was the first round of our top eight. Yeah, that was all the matches in the first round of top eight, yeah. We're going to keep it going here. Are we going to do more losers matches? Yeah, we've got definitely some more losers matches before we can get to our top four. I got a big thumbs up from that one. He oh, yeah. Like, he was like, yeah, Ugh. man. Just like that. He made that noise, too. Yeah, I know. We just didn't hear it. He doesn't have his mic on. Yeah, of course. Well, that was a good set. That was a good set. Back and forth action all the way down to the wire. I like Dude, it. I've never seen someone consistently slide fireball. That, that was really often. well done. That was like, yeah. This man is a genius. Who is this man? You know what I, What he doesn't do, though? He doesn't do overhead ever with, with uh, DiCaprio. Neither does Damn Die. He, does, he did, though. He Damn rarely does it. He yeah, rarely he does, really it, does it, but Damn Dye does wow, do it. Wow, DJ Sirix with the uh, Street Fighter Online tactics. Mm -hmm. The connection. Beautiful. Red bar there. Perfect. Lovely. Amazing. Fantastic. Vi is motioning. He's giving <laughs> us the Navy SEAL. Like, yeah, dude. I I'll cover you. You cover me. I don't know what <laughs> he he's Then he said for. rip. I was like, that doesn't help me any. It's <laughs> just my name. Are you asking for h 2 One of these or one of these? One of these. One of those. Are you sure we even have those? I don't see those. Vi is getting old and forgetful. He doesn't even know what we, he has he in said, his own. He said the H2, man. H2O. All right. So we're going to have VG Arcade. I forget his name now because I see that P there. Versus DJ. VJ Arcade. VG. VJ Arcade? <laughs> Rip. I'm pretty sure I said VG. 
I can confirm that you did not. But VJ is not a bad thing. No, definitely it's not. Shout out to Filipino man. <laughs> Fortunately, he couldn't make it too far in the tournament today because of the coin flip. <laughs> that, that was the funniest thing, dude. The coin flip? Yeah, the coin flip, sick. man. That was so sick. I can't believe, I was so, oh man, who is the one that we almost got for, uh, like, Heartman or something? The guy that, uh, right, that beat Ant, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Heartless the man, flip. and the other guy, we almost had another coin flip, we didn't get to do dude, it. Dude, I wish he would have coin flipped his way all yeah, the way to dude, the finals. we're in top eight, man, and I think all these guys have solid connections, so I don't think we're going to get this coin spin technology that in there. That sucks. Why it's a bummer. Guys I mean, look at DJ Sirik's connection. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> we might as well coin flip well, see, it. Look at this. See, he's got that connection, but he can still get in the lobby. Yeah. So if you got, if you if you had to lose a coin flip, and that guy's still in the tournament, you got to fix your router. I guess. That's all that says to me. I don't know what to say about that, yeah. I mean, this isn't a PC or something. All these consoles are the same. The exactly. only difference is your router. Yeah, and your internet connection. So here we go. DJ Cyrix versus gameplay. Losers. Who's versus gameplay? I forgot. He Character? plays Honda. Honda. He beat the uh, Zangief, the Alpha 3 legend. Yeah. Wolf from Wolf. Alpha earlier. He lost. Wolf from Alpha? Yeah. yeah. Go to insert some formulas. Getting the info versus gameplay from Dallas, Texas, the only city I know in Dallas besides Houston, or in Texas besides Houston. Are they absolute battle guys? Why is saying that? He looks. I don't know if he looks certain, but it's something. It's something, yeah. He didn't it's look. He, didn't, he did not look certain. Wow. First of all, there was. A, I saw. Uh, if you guys are ever looking for a frame by frame play of uh, Street Fighter, you have found it here. Is it a jerky right now? Uh huh. It looks like we're playing Street Fighter Online series. Is this that uh, DJ Cirque's connection? Is that what's I, going on here? I think he called his ISP and was like, "Listen, <laughs> uh, people are reacting to my jump knee. <laughs> Can I get?" Wow, this is getting crazy. I uh, know. I told you this is Street Fighter frame by frame. Yeah. No, I thought that. Uh, I thought it's it was like monitor. we're having a capture card issue or monitor issue, but no. Yeah, it looks like it's a connection. This is tough time. Okay, he's out. Oh man. Whoa! What? Street Fighter. He's like, online. I hate this connection. <laughs> that's what he said. That's essentially, what just happened there, right? He had like a. I'm pretty sure that's what happened he had right like there. Like a 60% lead. <laughs> like, I can't, can't, can't do this. Ultra. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, he's just walking forward. He's like, I give up. I hate you. <laughs> Fix your bars. DJ Sirix. Oh my goodness. He's got this. This is Street Fighter Online. He's this got this might be a Wi Fi connection because your DJ Sirix connection was solid before, right? Whoa! Oh! oh! Dude, One he's... fireball, two waiting for player? Okay. Dude, that's the strat. This, he's making it all the way to Capcom Cup. He's bringing the router with him. Dude, maybe maybe we can give Versus Gameplay an option of going for a coin flip instead. <laughs> you know? There is a term that I've learned for players uh, whose connections oh. are flip floppy. Uh huh. And the term was, was again from Ringe. It's called a router kicker. And I believe that's the situation we have there because the connection did not look like this earlier. No. A uh, router kicker? A router kicker. <laughs> he didn't even get the right version of hand. <laughs> Things are going rough, man. Oh, Things are no. going rough. I mean, look at this. He just didn't jump. Oh, and the oh, no. super, though. Is he going to get the ultra cancel? Of course he's going for the ultra cancel. <laughs> Woo. Got the full thing. Not quite the life lead, though. Can we see a full screen ultra? Oh boy. Oh no! The FNEC there. Alright. Oh, does he have it? Oh, wow, nice. sick reactions. He did that in the last round and it just came out now. Uh, good stuff from DJ Sirix there. Oh, is there an anti air? On reaction! On re was it? Oh, he can punish! No, he just jumps back! Wait, dude, I want to see this. Oh, come on, you gotta open that. Can you open that? In, on reaction? Yeah! And this? He's counting the frames, dude. Oh, what an air to air! Ah, he chases him there down! There you go. <laughs> dude, I feel like this is cheating. Like, he can see frame by frame of what course, he's doing. Dude, you can do stuff on reaction online now. That is sick. What you thought you couldn't do before is possible now yeah. online. The New are, technology. They, they take twice as long to come out, so now you can see what's happening. Slide? Oh, You have to react it. perfectly, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. And they're both charged. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> I like how that's what's sick to you now. Ooh. So, ooh, waiting for players. They're both charged characters. Final round, game one. Is this game one still? Yeah. Oh, he jumps no. out. Wait oh, for my he... combo. Oh, oh no. Wi-Fi, please. <laughs> Weefy boys. Oh, 
Oh, uh, welcome. Oh. Street Fighter Why Online. Why five oh. other players? Uh oh, where's the coin? We got the coin. Coin Final is Final round. Deck. Life bar's pretty close enough. No, it, it depends if it stays on the screen or not. Spectator mode suspended? Are they still playing? Oh, we, oh, we might be up, but they might still be in the game. What happened? So what happened, Alec? Get on the mic. Yeah, explain to the people. Explain to me. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> All right, so it, there's a mulligan on the play. <laughs> a mulligan? Yep, they get to play it again. What? Yep, they get to play that's it again. No way. That took so long. There's no, no way that's going to happen again. Yep, they get to play again. They get to play again. No way. Yep, they get to play again. What is happening here? See, none of them got booted. Um, Let's just flip a coin for the first game. Nah. I want to just spin a coin, man. Sorry. Like, come on. <laughs> Dude. Hey, you might get it. There's I feel like that's games, a better but... way to see who's going to win than that play. That game? Then <laughs> replay that? No, let's just spin the coin. No, it's just uh, not every connection is the same. So Yeah, some of them are really bad. Yeah, some of them are DJ Series. I guess. <laughs> we got to flip the names here, but here we go. Game one. <laughs> we already have a waiting for players. Can we get a waiting for players count in the chat? Thank you guys so much. Hands. This connection looks much better. Yeah, dude, what happened? DJ Sirix. Wi-Fi, bro. That's what happened. Yeah, you're like, hey, man, I got 600,000 megabit down, but I play on Wi-Fi. What up? That's the strat, dude. Somebody downloading the the Star Wars Battlefront beta Oh, in the man, and right now, Verse Gip is so pissed. He's like, you know what? Screw you. Watch this. No lag. I am going to wreck you right now. Oh, and he is getting wrecked for sure. Okay, he gets thrown, though. Well, what happened to the connection? I don't get it, dude. Okay, nice hands here. Oh, and block on that, but no punish. Again? Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that going to yeah. uh -oh. oh, is that a punish? Oh, no. no. That would have been sick, though. You're dead. Oh, oh he's not dead. Opportunity. Headbutt. Okay, yeah, he had to. Of course. Wow. First round, first gameplay. Yeah, you know DJ Sirix is about to call his... ISP and just say, listen, I don't know what you guys did, but unfix it. <laughs> Something happening here. Why did you guys fix it so soon? I know, dude. He's like, I needed about another few minutes of this connection. Oh, wow. He got to the other side. That was crazy. Yeah, big lead here for versus gameplay again. Oh, headbutt? Nice. Yeah, he didn't do it on time to answer here. Oh, and he got stuffed. Nice. Oh, and the walk up, Ocho? Okay. Yeah, he just gets out of there. He's like, I'm sick of you. You and your non laggy connection. What's wrong with you? Okay, good ends here. Mm -hmm. Trouble. Oh, he's walking him down. Nice. Oh EX headbutt. First gameplay loves it. Takes the first game. Convincing. 1 0. Ah, perfect connection, man. That's, what, that's the beauty of Wi Fi. Yeah, that's the next game here. One gonna... day is great. Next second, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. See, but you, okay, so Alex is saying Wi-Fi is not allowed, but the game doesn't tell us whether they're on Wi-Fi. Now we have no idea. We have no idea. That's why I'm asking for Street Fighter Five to put it in the men in the screen. You can see it. Both players can see. Are you on Wi-Fi? That way, when you run a tournament, you can actually say Wi-Fi is banned. You have a Wi-Fi symbol, you're out. You're done, though. I think it's a good idea. Because look, if they speed test, think about it. They can have the strat. They can speed test from their speed home test from their PC. From their friend's PC. Yeah, their Wi-Fi, their console. console. Exactly. Cheaters. You know? There's all sorts of things. So anyway, that's why I really hope that, you know, Street Fighter V and other fighting games in the future, they show a symbol that shows Wi-Fi, you know, on the screen. So You're done. You can enforce it for, so you can have online tournaments for it. No, yeah, of course, of course. Of course, e even when, what Alex is saying is that basically people who have tried to have shady connections, whatever, they still get bopped. You know, so By good players, it's, not that, yeah. it's not that big of a deal, but it's still annoying for everyone who enters the tournament. Definitely. You know? So I think it's still something that's worth putting into a game. I totally agree with you on that one there. Especially on console. Because yeah. console knows for sure. You know, yeah. PC, you know, PC, who knows? it's like, it's, yeah, it's, and it's, it's not as big of a problem. Yeah. Wait, what happened there? He gave up. Wait, oh, they counted it? Oh, they played it out. They did play out that first game out. Oh. And uh, looks like Honda did win both. Well, connection fixed. Because the DJ, uh, DJ Laggy Sirks, Johnson then. is gone. DJ Sirix out of the tournament. Yeah, that was loser bracket action versus gameplay advancing. Uh-huh. And now we're going to have Damn Daigo, it looks like, coming back. Is he going to be playing versus gameplay? No, probably the other guy. He just played. He just played Kami. 
DJ Shurik lost in the winner's side of the bracket, remember? Oh, that's so right. So whoever else lost in the winner's side of the bracket is going to be going against them. That's the uh, Elena player? Yes, the one that lost to Necromantic. Count? Count Black. Black. Yeah. Sick. Sounds like a plan. So DiCaprio, Elena, or potentially Elena Murr. Yeah, that would be gross. I hope we don't see that. Mm -hmm. Elena Mir is very weird. But yeah, I think I think Elena fights DiCaprio well. You don't think or you do I think, think she does. I think she, she kind of stuffs a lot of the approach options, and the keep away is not threatening to her at all, really. She has she has easy punish on hand. Okay. The crouching jab that goes forever in a day. Whoa, what just happened? He left the lobby. Yeah, rejoining. Is there like a recent players thing on this? Oh, that's, that's what awesome. he's looking at, yeah. Right? yeah. That's cool. That is very useful, so you don't have to like type in their name all the time. Yeah, you know, especially when you're running tournaments online, you just... Hmm. Yeah, I played Street Fighter on PS4, but I don't own it on PS4. Like, I played it okay. at somebody else's house, sure. so yeah. I've only played it on there. Connections are usually pretty good. All right, should be in the match here. Damn Daigo, Count Black. What? Uh oh. Okay, Alex coin. gonna recreate the lobby. Rip grabbing his coin. coin. Yeah, you already have the hands on the coin. Totally course, ready for dude. the flippage. I mean, that's what the people need to see, right? This you, is what they come to see. Look, you can watch quality Street Fighter see. play at any time. Yeah. Right. But you can't see Rip spin a coin anywhere. Exactly. <laughs> Practice. I mean, if you had a Twitch where they could find you spin coins, where would that be? Twitch.tv slash level up your game. Oh. It's very different. Yeah, from the other level live one. Live one. Yeah, yeah. gross. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes that place. <laughs> some people do. Some people do. It's pretty popular right here. It's okay. It's not bad. They're I mean, sometimes things. you see our faces on there. It's true. So that's the best part about it, probably. Probably, yeah. I can't think of anything else good about that. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is working now. I don't know, but I've got this prepared. Yeah, the coin is ready, in case you guys are curious. Look at that technique. Did you see that technique? That was good. That was clean. Like, if I was, like, the you know, the angry Russian judge at every Olympics who never gives people a 10 out of 10, oh, yeah, he's like, oh, I'd give seven. it, like, a 9.8. Oh, no. Connections. Smile on my face. I know, dude. This is, this is all I came for. Actually, I didn't come for this. But once we <laughs> did it first, I'm all about it. I know. Everybody's looking forward to it now. I hope that the next Street Fighter Online tournament is all coin flips the whole way through. <laughs> no all way. the way to Capcom Cups. No, no, I, li I like it. I like it when it just randomly happens. It's like a big surprise. It's like, oh my gosh, is it time? Is it time to bring out the coin? I might just keep this coin in my wallet from now on. This from, specific this is, coin. That's your coin this flip? This is going to be the coin flip coin. It is a 2015 coin. From 2015 which state? coin. Oh, I forgot. It's North Carolina. North Carolina. Uh, 25 cents. Tar Heels. Do you know Michael Jordan played on that team? No, I don't even know what that. What's the Tar Heels? It's a basketball team, college basketball team. That's where Jordan started, man. Whoa, I did not know that. Oh, we're going to play some people online? All right, Alex. Whoa, Byron. he's going to go play Count Blackula in there. Sick. I keep on calling Blackula, too, because there's a Count player Blackula. named Blackula. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I keep thinking the same thing. Yeah, he plays. That guy, he plays all kinds of games, that guy. Oh, Tekken, yeah. Virtua Fighter, uh, Mortal Kombat as well, Injustice. Well versed in FGC games. Man, look at these guys' names. There's a lot of effort. Look at those guys' bars. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> Wi-Fi bars all the way down to the bottom Dude, there. PS4 boys. I don't know what these guys are up to. <laughs> this is top eight action. Yeah. Is oh. this is this the last match of our top eight before we get to top four? I, I think, think it so. Is. Yeah, I think this is the last match before top four. We have winner's final set. We have the other side of loser's set. I think this is the last match we're going to have before top four action today. Yeah, then we'll have winner's final and loser's semi set to go. Mm. And down to the wire. One of these guys walking away. Okay. okay. So instead of waiting for the top four, we're actually going to take the break now. Set up this match. When we come back, we're going to have, I guess, top four and a half. Top four and a half, yeah. After this short break. We'll see you guys soon. See you.
Ultra Street Fighter 4! Thank you. And welcome back, guys. It's time for just about time for our top four action. We got one more match before that, but this is the Street Fighter Online series. I'm Rip. And I'm Steve. And we're about to kick things off. We're going to have Damn Daigo going up against that other guy. That other guy. That's him. Yeah, it's Count Black. He's Count the Black. Elena player That's right. The Elena player. That's right. He's that other guy. So, uh, DiCaprio and Elena, we've seen from Damn Daigo. Yeah. And Count Black, we've seen only Elena. Elena mirror. It's mirror time, boys. Okay. Yeah. What ultras are going to go with? We've seen Count Blackout with Ultra 1 before, right? Yeah. I would I would run healing. Probably. Both of them? Probably. But I think yeah. 1 will run Ultra 1. Your Ooh, double healing? Okay. Sick. Hey, Alex, Steve's a little low for me. I don't know if he's low for the stream as well. Mm. I don't know. I, I sound a little low overall. Okay, so damn Daigo in the white. Count Blackula in the Blackula. Count Black in the uh, purple there. Count Black's in the purple. Got it. Yeah. Okay, that's punish. Yeah, good stuff from Damn Daigo. I wonder, all over the place. I wonder if Damn Daigo just doesn't like the Elena versus DiCaprio match. So that's why he's playing. Could uh, be. Elena yeah. instead, yeah. yeah. Got him for a mouth match. Nice. Good combo there. He's going to heal. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I like how the, the comp is like, there it is! There it is! He said it twice. He's excited. <laughs> Healing. Yes, sir. There it that. is! Nice. Low medium kick into that overhead there. And another Again. one. This could be it if he gets an EX. Yep. Boom. Oh, oh, scratch will close it out. This is our war, Street Fighter 4. This stage music's crazy. It's just all over the place. Way all over the place. But here we go. First round for Count Black. I mean, I think he's been the strongest Atlanta player we've seen in this tournament. Yeah. And the thing about this matchup is that her crouching jab pretty much punishes, like, everything she wants to do. Okay. Uh, so, like, if you overcommit and don't guess right on the mix-up, then you're going to get punished. Like crouching Overhead. jab, basically, yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. Uppercutting out there. He went for a setup that would have beat Crouch Tech. Does Link's Tail have any invincibility? Like, no. he used a raw there. That was weird. Yeah, I think he tried to buffer it in a low jab, and he just didn't get it. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be healing. So, we're going to see the live lead for Dan Daigo. Whoa, oh, crazy No punish heal. either. He, he had the chance to get yeah. the punish. Wow, gets hit by the overhead there. Oh, and the oh roundhouse. Nice. That is a one-frame link with jab there. Off that standing nice. roundhouse. It's tough. Healing? Oh, he, yeah, he's definitely like going to get crazy. punished. Yeah, he's definitely getting punished there. Okay. Is he going to wake up himself? No. Oh, that's punish? No, but yeah, he didn't really have any way to punish that easily. What's her best punish for it? She's so far uh, he away. He needed meter. Yeah, he needed low strong into EX mallet would have done it. Oh, uh, and that's going to be the round. Gets the jab jab strong. Damn, Daigo answering back. Ties it up one round apiece. This is loser bracket action to get to the loser semis. Yeah, and one meter a pop, uh, which means EX mallet always a threat. Oh, no anti air there. Oh, he goes for the uppercut and no punish. You would think if someone would know how to punish Elena's uppercut, it'd be an Elena <laughs> player, but it doesn't get it. It's so weird, though. It is very Maybe weird. Maybe they never play the merc. Maybe not. And Damn Daigo looking good here, though. Oh, and wow. this time in the front, yeah, he can have it see that. Yeah, Whoa. Yeah. That's going to chase the back dash. Oh, you see him? He tried to bait out uh, something there. That's a punish. There you go. And the healing is available. Wow. If I was Damn Daigo, I would just heal also. Nice punish. Or a uh, nice block there. And the healing available. Yes, sir. Both sides. Nice. He caught him just trying to get in there with that, that slide. Oh, block? He can punish this. Oh, he didn't get wow. the punish. Damn, Daigo Ouch. gets the uppercut. Yeah. And look he, at that. Just when I say Count Black, the most impressive land we've seen today, he loses the first game. Yeah, in the mirror. In the, in the mirror. Dude, like, yeah, he had the punish there on that Lynx. Like, yeah. all he had to do was do low jab, low strong into EX Mallet. But instead, he tried to get, like, a, a little bit more of a beefy punish, like, directly low strong. And that's not super easy to do. So he drops it, gets punished. Damn, Daigo gets the first game. Man, the Elena Mirror is so weird. Because it, there's so much healing going on. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about her and healing in general, though. Like, other characters don't have that. Yeah, they you don't. Know, it's just like, man, what is this? I just yeah. did all this work, and now you just heal. It's, it's, it's different. Yeah, she has ways to manipulate the health bar that other characters don't. And, like, a lot of her times when she lands a combo, she gets to choose. Like, do I want damage? Do I want positioning? Do I want health? Like, what? What? Right. I, yeah, what do I want here? Do I want to get the most healing possible? Do I want to get the most damage? Do I want the setup? Like, what's what's the situation? Yeah, a lot of times, healing is worth it because oh, yeah. if you take damage, you can heal again. Basically, exactly. the way Ultra works. Yeah, if you heal a bunch, you get more chances to decide whether you should heal again or not. So, right. Yeah. Oh, nice. That jump around house there is so floaty, and it's really tough to answer. here. Okay. Especially for Elena, I bet. I mean, yeah, just for any character, really, it's tough, but yeah. Okay, nice back dash. Oh, drops the links. This is punish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff from Count Black there. Goes low. Jumps over, and the uppercut there, yeah. And yeah, damn, Daigo's uppercut's been on point so far. Mm -hmm. You see there the heavy links this time. And when he tried to uh, punish, he didn't get it. And that's a juggle. Yes. Nice. Good stuff. There's it. Right back. Nice well, yep. They both have healing available. And an wow. anti uppercut. Oh, nice. Healing is available. He's going to get a nice little chunk. Ouch. Got him with the over two. Chip. Mm. Didn't even need it. Yeah, just gets the jabs there. That's the thing about Elena's jab, 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 is it's never a true block shot. So, so but Elena needs meter to get out of it? Yeah. So you could backdash it, uh, cause, uh, since okay. it's not legit. But yeah, there are ways out. Oh, that could have been punish. Okay. Gets the buffer there. It's going to be the setup in the back. And a nice tech there. Yeah, good, good uppercut there. He doesn't want to risk trying to anti-air with a normal against that move. It is, it is just weird. Good block there against the meltdown. Whoa, catches him with the links. That is heavy links. That is punishable. Yes, and sir. he gets it. Oh, he got him in the front yeah, because he tried to back dash. Yes. Very mm -hmm. nice from Count Black. 
And this is going to be a chance for healing. No, no, he doesn't do it. Now he gets it. Now is it going to be uppercut from Count Black? No. Oh my goodness. Oh, Can he finish it though? So close. He just wants wow. healing and wow. Damn Daigo with the overhead. Forward medium kick. Yeah. Good stuff to him. Count Black, he was just backdashing there. Probably just wanted to heal. Yeah. I'm guessing. That's all he was looking for. Uppercut? No. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. Final round. Set point for Damn Daigo. Yeah, and the Elena Mir here. We've seen him be playing, you know, pretty much DiCaprio the whole time today. Besides, the only time he lost is when he was playing Elena. Oh, he respected the wake up uh, there from Dan Daigo since he did have meter for the uppercut. And there it is, you see it. Oh, you saw him. He got the reversal there because he did regular uppercut and it just got stuffed. No invincibility on that. This is punish? Yes. Is he going to do mini? Uh, yeah, he went for the mini overhead. Oh, and he gets hit. That's going to be healing. No, he drops oh, it again. Oh, again. And he's going to get this healing. This time again? No! <laughs> Punish. Oh, oh my gosh. something. No. And he oh, tried my it again, God. Dude, and he, he's like, this is how you he heal. He tried it again and dropped it again. Wow. That's this is ridiculous. Three in a row. Damn, Daigo cannot That's do rough. healing. Yeah, dude. Uh, I can't <laughs> focus, Castle, to stay safe there. <laughs> that was crazy. He's like... <laughs> Three times in a Count Black, row? like, this is how you heal. Dude, and that's the reason Count Black is back in this match. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's down now. Heal. Yeah, but that was that was everything. You have full healing with no threat. Uppercut? Oh, yeah, he's yeah. done that a couple times. Damn Daigo for the win here. What's he going to do? Cross up. Oh, oh, the counter hit set up with back roundhouse. Excellent stuff. You know what it was? It's like every time Damn Daigo jumps in, Count Black does, instead of anti hiring yeah. him with uppercut, he just does reversal uppercut. Oh, yeah. So he's, like, always You're ready right. for it. And now we're in top four action. Now it's time for top four. Damn Daigo advancing. He made it. He made it through. He did. He's going to be going up against the other person in the loser bracket, the Honda. Yeah, VG Arcade. That's it, VG Arcade. Whose music is this? This is jamming. This is sick, right? I'm feeling this. Need some sunglasses for this music. That's what I feel like. Dude, some I. Disco clothes. Yeah, we need, like a, we need a new background back here. We need yeah. something that's jamming, right? Like, we need something. Definitely a disco ball. That would be sick. This is sick. So top four action Street Fighter Online series coming up next. Winner, of course, going to Capcom Cup 2015. As, as a, a spectator. spectator. Not as a player. No. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Well, maybe not so ridiculous in the future. Who knows? Who knows such things? Maybe you guys should start practicing online. Maybe. Who knows where things may lead to? You never know. The world is changing, man. Yeah, I mean they've been fo the net code for Street Fighter Five is looking good so far. They're you know they're doing multiple betas to ensure it'll be as good as it can be. Yeah, uh, that's what the purpose of the beta test is. Not like certain other fighting games that released with the net code with a K. I mean that have had trouble recently. I'm sure if there any, I'm sure if any other fighting game released a game with bad net code, that they would probably patch it. You think patch so? Patch the game. They would, yeah, they they would, would, they would the fix game. it for sure. Mm -hmm. But here we go. We've got him in the lobby. Damn Daigo and. VG Arcade P001. He's had like four different names. Versus so far. Arcade. Yes, Arcade, yeah. Texas. Yes, Gameplay has been the name. Versus, versus gameplay. gameplay. Versus. That was a VG. Versus Gameplay. Yeah. That's what it stands for. Got it. Oh, okay. That makes I sense. I connected the dots. You did. That was good. <laughs> You're like, I was unable to do that. <laughs> I was. You're like, just, that was good. I wasn't thinking hard enough about it. I was no, like, no, why I is there so many names? It was exactly. And then when he said it, I was like, oh, they finally makes clicked. Sense. He's been playing Honda the whole time. He has been. Uh, so. Very good as well. Top four, of course, here. Hey, Alex, does uh, only first place get anything? Does second or third place or anything like that happen? What do you so just first place gets the grand prize, and that's Ooh, it. Going that's with second, third, or fourth, doesn't matter. You, That was it. You're done. Does not matter. So it all that's comes down tough. to who wins today. Yeah, that's tough. Okay. So really, you got to be the champ or nothing. That's yeah. all that matters. They should give us... Like top four, just give them like seed points into the next bracket, seed them all out apart from each other. That'd be cool, right? Maybe, November 3rd, episode two? Yeah. Here we go. Damn Daigo versus gameplay. And I mean, if this is Damn Dai, which we pretty much think. I don't think it is. We're not sure if it is, but Damn Dai has experience in the matchup, so. And if it's Daigo, Daigo has experience in the matchup. So I think we're fine either way. I don't think it's. I'm pretty sure it's not Damn Dai. Probably Daigo. I think there's more likelihood that it is Daigo than Damn Dai. That's my bet. Uh huh. Pressure there. Oh, an uppercut? Wow, yeah, that nice. Oh, he tried to get the hands there. There it is again. Yeah, he's been very willing to just do the uppercut. He's like, look, 
I'm totally ready for it. I'm not afraid to do it. I wonder what Ultra 2 about for Honda. Maybe he's just looking to like punish hands if they're badly spaced or something. Oh, it could be, I guess. I wonder what that's about. Curious. Curious to see it in action. Damn Daigo has the big lead here. He's just kind of hanging out. He, he wants to down charge because if Honda ever jumps forward, he wants to be able to have Cycle Sting. Or, yeah, see, that's why. Yep. Oh Punish. That's it. Yeah. Good. Wow. That was good. Oh, but no, not it was time. not. Honda. Uppercut. That's so tough. He had the dash Rough. and everything. He yeah. was so ready for that. Got it. Nailed you. No. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, you that's pretty much called out the scenario and then it played out. He didn't get it. Yeah, that sucks. It's a bummer. Okay, nice punish there. Okay, big jump. Yeah. yeah. Damn, Daigo was just totally ready. He's, yeah. he's down he's backing. He's charge the whole time. Exactly. Nice. nice Gets the hands. Oh, and a big jump. Yo. Nice. Good affirm there using that standing medium punch. Oh, and, and a good block on that, too. Yo, damn, Daigo, though. Very impressive right now. Yeah. Oh, is that going to be in... Yeah, he got him. Yeah, no dash this time. No dash. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of damage. What is the setup here? Oh, it just blocks. Wow. Yeah, he, he was worried about all that meter for uppercut. That's true. Okay, answer your hands there. And nice. if, if he does land hand, he has super available too. That's that's gonna be a threat. Okay, not anymore. Oh my gosh. Air throw, not quite enough. But yeah, this this could be. Will he go chip. overhead? Wow, or didn't just even chip. Need to. He wanted yeah. the chip. Yeah. He got hit anyway, but I, I think it would have been chip even if he blocked. Good stuff to Dam Daigo on the first game here, trying to move into this top three. Does Honda's Ultra 2 have invincibility? Like, could he have ultra there? No, he wouldn't have got out of Ultra. Bummer. Like, it wasn't the it wasn't the right spacing anyway um, to get out with that. I mean, mm -hmm. Ultra 1 would have would have got oh, through yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. But he has Ultra 2, mostly for those hands, so. Did he even have Ultra? I feel like he didn't have Ultra. I think he did, actually. Oh, maybe. That's why, that's why I wondered. I thought he used it. He did earlier, a lot earlier. Mm, interesting. So here we go, the first game of Damn Daigo, second game coming up. Damn Daigo. Man, like a parody name with Daigo in it is just, it's hard to mess that up. I mean, this one is pretty good though. Yeah. Damn Daigo? Damn Daigo? Yeah, dude, he's, he's pretty good. I, I rarely ever see like Daigo parody names that go bad. Yeah. Like you really gotta put something, you gotta be silly to not to not do it right, right? I mean, if, like, yeah, if they can go Diego on it, you can come up with something. Diego was good. Like, yeah, that's the classic. Uma Juarez, of course, the legend. Mm-hmm. The legend. Yeah. Writing books and stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. The guy's pretty popular. Yeah, he's, like, done a bunch of books. I heard they're, like, best sellers, too. They're, like, yeah, and he has the manga or whatever. Mm -hmm. Alex Vai was in that. Really? Yeah, dude. Did they did they draw him as young or old by it? Um, well, I don't think he was ever that young. Well, of course he was. He used to wear the white beater, man. Oh, I remember that. That was sick back in the day. Why did he call it? Anyway. Mm. Nice uppercut there. Good reactions. Man, it just feels like he's had like answers to everything Honda wants to do. Yeah, he's really been on point in this matchup. Oh, not nice. Wow! That was so ridiculous. She almost like uppercut the wrong way and it still hit. Yeah, he, he waited so long, and then he got the autocorrect anyway. Wow. Yeah, that was a big whiff, but I don't think he was ready for a punish. No ultra to set out or anything, so just just jumps in the front. Okay, nice dive kick. It was very nice on the body there. It wasn't too high or anything. And yeah, that jump back drill, it's always a threat. Oh, good block, too. He's, he's had a lot of trouble doing that. Uh, that anti air headbutt so far, or even just headbutt out of pressure. Oh man, what's he gonna do here? Oh, he almost wow. got it! Wow! Dude, that was such an intelligent chip setup. That was smart, yeah, that was really good. Like, everything about that was really well thought out. Yeah, at first I thought he was just being to jump over by giving him so much space. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah, and then when he saw he wasn't, he was like, alright, it's time. Look out. Oh. Okay, that's big. Gets the whole thing. He's never seen a combo with that. Of course not. <laughs> man, he's, he, if you were going to create a mixtape right now, he'd be the greatest hype man of all time. <laughs> I mean, it's, just, it's funny just like to think about if you people actually come like that. Oh, I've never seen hands hit that many times. <laughs> the technique. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, his vocabulary is really impressive, though. Has out the Ultra One. Yeah, and just, just gets chip on it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really go for a mix-up. 
Big lead here for versus gameplay. Okay. Oh, and the uppercut, yes. Yep. Doesn't go for double. Wow, nice stuff. That was really good for uh, uh, gameplay, yeah. like versus gameplay, that mm -hmm. is just the hangout. Like, he's like, all right, I'm not going to overcommit on anything. EX headbutt's coming out, chilling. Yeah, even for him to react to that break like that was really good. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a lot of, like, scramble break into every to throw. Yeah. Doesn't get the full thing there. Oh, nice jump back. That was really good. Uh, was smelling out that headbutt there. And this hippo is into the match. He is just eyes on it. Okay, good blocks. Man, he has been so good about beating that up. Okay, wow, on the other side. Back. Oh, and it hits wow, so, so late. Ultra runs out again. Will he go for a mix-up? Gets the jump and doesn't even go out. Oh, is he going to push him into it? Yeah, he does and gets wow, all that okay, extra okay. chip there. Oh, is that going to be punished? Got him. Again, man. That, is that enough? Oh, so close. Yeah, it's set point for damn Daigo. First gameplay needs to get him here. Okay, has the uppercut. Ultra oh one out again. Oh my gosh, here we go. Mix up. Oh, and oh he, he to was get too it. far. Oh, okay, EX drill, and he goes all in. Wow. And again, this is two out of three. The last two out of three set of the tournament. Honda wins. The rest of this is going to be three out of five, since it's going to be winners and losers finals. Mm -hmm. And grand finals, of course. So just two games here. The last game here to determine who's going to be on top three. Yeah. First and again, if you you have to win this to get something. You have to win this. Verse gameplay right there, though. Clutching it out, tying up the set. One game apiece. Final game coming up to advance into the top three. Mm -hmm. That's all this is about, dude. Because, yeah, if you lose here and then – or even if you win here and you don't win the whole tournament, you don't get anything. No, exactly. you got to win to get something today. Right. So if you're in the loser bracket right now, you you got a long road ahead of you still. Yeah, you definitely do. Uh, which makes our winner's finals even more interesting when we get there right after this probably. If damn Daigo is actually something that we do know, uh -huh. I'm leading towards Jaren. Think so? You might be right, but here we go. 1-1 one, one versus gameplay. Damn, Taigo. Train in the background. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Just gets, oh, it drops the combo. Yeah, the hands didn't hit fully there, uh, so not too bad. And, yeah, DiCaprio just getting under there. Yep, very nice. You have to add walk back just a little bit. Just to jump in. You see, this corner positioning is great for DiCaprio. Uh, yeah, especially since he can always come in like that. And first time we've seen him really get hit by those EX headbutts. He just wasn't ready to block it this time. Ultra, yeah. Yep. I don't think that's going to work, actually. Ooh, yeah, why? because it wasn't reversal. He didn't get the reversal timing on it. Oh, and a nice. beat. Doesn't get the full thing anyway, but okay. This time reversal Ochio. Again, yeah. Okay, just walks up. And yeah, not only does DiCaprio get out of the corner there, but doesn't get hit by the sumo slam. Ultra one out. He's gonna jump over it again while he just built himself some meter there. Oh, oh cool. my god! Oh wow, if he got the uppercut after it, he would be the greatest. That was sick, but here we go. 35 seconds to go. Verse gameplay pretty behind right now in life. It's not over. Oh yeah, you don't want to go on the hands if you're DiCaprio. That was He's gonna try to scramble gonna out in a second. Oh. Ultra 2 is still available. Oh, oh jump back such drill. a sick drill, yeah. It's funny, I mean, jump back even while you're in the corner. He, stepped, he took like one step forward, didn't jump back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? Okay, nice, yeah, blowing that up there. Oh, and he is getting a little, a little passionate here with the decision making. <laughs> Taking some risks he doesn't have to. I mean, he does, he's not got punished too bad for it. But that's like telling of how he feels. He feels like he has to make something happen here. Yeah, and again, set point for damn Daigo. He's had a couple opportunities to close it out, but just hasn't been able to do so yet. Okay, yeah, good punish on that. Not going to let him get away with that for forever. And the, one of the wow, first the breaks damage. we've seen. Okay, now it's his chance. He still has Ultra 2. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that was such a good chase now. Mm -hmm. He was finally ready for that jump back there, you saw. Wow. Empty scramble into that throw again. And just backing off again. Yeah. I mean, why even go in? Oh, wow, that, oh, oh no. That basically just sealed the deal. Let's see Dude, if you can make a comeback. No, that that's was... it. Dude, Rough. he lost like 40% in like yeah, that, two seconds. It was an easy 25 to 30% like, like nothing. He's like, I'm going to walk forward. You're not going to do it. Yeah, you are. I'm, no, you're not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, I guess Dude. you did it three times in a row. He didn't even. He blocked for like less than half a second after all those. He was he, not he convinced. He didn't believe. Yeah, yeah, he didn't believe. Like you will not crazy. do that again. 
So Dam Daigo's now in top three. He's made a long loser's bracket run. Yeah, congrats to Verse Gameplay though for making it so far in the tournament. You got fourth place, which means you get absolutely nothing. Thanks for turning uh tuning into the tournament. Bummer. Yeah. <laughs> that's, it is tough. He, he got so far. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that's that's how it is. It First is. place. Capcom Cup. You're gonna be a Capcom Cup. Pretty good. Second place. You're gonna watch Capcom Cup at home. Yeah, hey, that's not so bad either, man. It's not. Stream technology, Capcom Fighters on Twitch TV. You guys can check it out there. It's yeah. going to happen. Also, you guys can check out Street Fighter on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Vine, and Tumblr. All down there. You can, yeah. can see it. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know they had a Vine. I didn't know they had a Tumblr. What do they put on the Vine? Did they just put, like, combos on there? I think, 